Okay, you guys, so in today's video, we're going to be doing a hair review on the Doula hair. Right now, I'm just showing you guys the box and what it looks like front and back. And at the bottom, the bottom tells you the directions on how to keep up with the hair, washing hair tips, and how to make it last and things like that. Again, this is a Nadula hair review. Take over. Over. Name another bitch that's Name colder. Name another bitch that's colder. Rover. Rover. I don't even drive no more. I got a show. Took a slower. Took off. Getting wiser and my money getting older. Older. I so in the box, you will get the wig, of course, and you will get a wig cap. And I've also received a headband along with some lashes. So these are some of the gifts that you may receive in your box. It may not be the exact same as mine, but it probably will be assorted. So this is the wig. The wig is a 20 inch Nadula Curly Honey Blonde 13 by 4 Lace Front Human Hair Wig. It is a Malaysian version here and it is pre-plucked. Now I love this color and I love that the wig already came pre-plucked because your girl does not know how to pluck yet. She's just learning how to do certain methods that I've seen on YouTube. So I'm glad it is pre-plucked and I love the color. And the hair is really soft. I was not expecting the hair to be this soft and that plucked, but it came pre-plucked and it was well plucked. Um, and I love how you can versatile. You can have it do a half up, half down. You can put it all up. I like how it looks in the front, especially with the baby hairs. So that's a pro with this hair. I'm trying to show you guys the different styles. You can put it, you could do two buns, one ponytail, half up, half down, all the way up. And look how plucked that is. Now you can bleach the knots if you want to, but I am not going to do that. Now I'm gonna try this method that I've been seeing on YouTube. Don't judge me, cause this is my first time doing it. So if I make some mistakes, y'all let me know down in the comment sections. Y'all help a girl out. I'm just trying new things trying to perfect my um, application of my wigs so y'all just let me know what i do wrong so this is not a tutorial on how to apply your wigs i'm just trying different methods if you want to try what i try go for it do what you want to do if you don't i don't blame you so y'all gonna watch me struggle and try to attempt to do the ball cap method The wig does come with three combs. You get two combs on the side and one comb in the back. I just thought I'd let you guys know since I didn't let you guys know in the beginning. But you do get combs. If you don't want to do the glue method, you can um, comb it to your braid. So I'm glad they put the combs in the wig as well. Now I'm going to try to lay this wig. Y'all don't judge me. Don't judge me. I'm, I'm learning. Okay.
now I'm gonna put a little bit of water on it because this right here, this right here is too big. It's hot on this motherfucker. It's hot tea. Okay, you guys, so that is it for this video. Sadie. That is it for this video. I like the hair brushed out, but I also like it with some water on it. I think I would wear it both ways, but if I wear it brushed out, I won't wear it so brushed out. Like, I'll just brush out probably the inside to give it more volume, but that it was hot like that it was big this is 20 inches um i was gonna get the 18 inch but i felt like the 18 inch would have been short way too short for me um so this is a 20 inch it's the perfect length it's not too long it's not too short with it being so big and frizzy i feel like the 22 i mean the 20 or the 18 inch would be the perfect fit the hair is soft it hasn't shed it was already pre-plugged um i didn't pluck anything i didn't bleach anything i just i just used what i had to use and made it work so this is how it turned out i'm still new on the bowl cup method so i was just showing you guys my mess ups and my process because I really don't know how to do the ball cut method. I just watch a lot of YouTube videos and I'm just trying to practice on how to do it or to like perfect my craft. So it's not really that great, but I did a little edge thing, you know, the cover up, you know, my imperfections and it'll be fine. But I love the color. I love the curls. I love the texture. Um, it didn't come with a smell. It came with a wig cap and a headband and some eyelashes. So I'm really psyched about that. But other than that, the hair is, I really love the hair. I actually really like the hair. Like, I didn't think it was going to be like this. I really didn't. I was kind of iffy on the color with me and my skin tone, but I was like, it's going to work. And my aunt told me it worked. Like, it looks nice. So I like it. So yeah, that's all I have to say about this hair. It's bouncy. It ain't still. It don't stink. It's pre-plugged. It's just nice. So I hope you guys like the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll be posting once a week, if not more than once a week. We're coming back to back to back to back to back with these videos, you guys. So I hope you guys are enjoying the video. So I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Just like I'm enjoying editing and putting them out for you. Y'all stay safe, keep your mask on, keep your hands washed, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Period. I'm keeping that in too.